Hello and welcome to FEM Expert. Today we will present you a basic tutorial in which we will describe you how to import 3D CAD files into ANSYS. We will begin with an already open instance of ANSYS and here to import files you have two main options. One is going into the file menu, into the import menu and choosing from the appropriate file type. The other option is going into the preprocessor, into the archive model and using the read and write options. Since this uh, archive model option is intended and has been created for importing and exporting files from and to ANSYS, we will not talk about, uh, about this option in this tutorial. This, this option will be developed in a further tutorial. So right now we're going to go and click finish then we're going to go into the file again into the import menu and here you have different types of files that you can import from uh, you have generic files like IGES or you have files made of by companies like CADIA or Pro Engineering. The procedure is very similar in all of them if uh, you don't know what type of file you should use, I would advise you to utilize the Parasolid files since they're very robust and they do not require a lot of effort to be imported to ANSYS. So we're gonna, on this tutorial I'm going to show you how to import an IGES file. I'm going to click on it. And as soon as you click on this, ANSYS will ask you a couple of questions. The first question if you want to, is if you want to merge the coincident key points. This might be an important idea if your model is uh, is not too clean and you think there might be key points that are coincident. It will also ask you if you want to create solids if you have them in your model. Sometimes you might have t so solids in your in your IGES file but you don't want to import those so there's no sense in importing them and then deleting them and so you can just choose yes or no here. And the last option is is asking you if you want to delete the small areas. In this this option will try to delete very small areas in order to simplify or in order to avoid you to have a very very problematic meshing. For example, meshing very very small areas that are like given by uh, I don't know fillets or minute details that are irrelevant in a simulation. So after you select you, you have selected these options, you can go and click on the OK button. Once you have done that, you will another menu will open and here you'll have as it will ask you if you which one is the tolerating for merging. You can use the default or you can use the one from the IGS files or you can just choose different values. And also it will ask you what file do you want to import. You can go and browse your file. In this situation we're going to import a piston from an engine and that's made on IGES and after you have your file and your tolerance you just have to go and click onto the OK button again. Sometimes by importing 3D models actually it's very common you might have uh, warnings and errors because the original 3D model is not totally clean. Depending on this well you'll see that um, you will see what can you do but what will happen in this situation is that the model will not be shown as a 3D model, it will be shown as a wireframe. In order to get the model to be shown normally, you have to go into the plot controls, style, and solid model facets. As you will see, ANSYS, by, by having those products, automatically will change the criteria to wireframe. You have to select the normal faceting and click into the OK button. Once you have done that, there might be some errors, warning messages or error messages depending on your situation. You have to go and click on plot and replot. This way you will have your 3D model the proper way the, and shown the proper way and you can start actually working on it. For right now I'm going to close the ANSYS instance. I'm going to also close the APDL product launcher. And now you know how to import a 3D CAD file into ANSYS. We hope you enjoyed this presentation and we would like to thank you for your attention. For more tutorials, please follow us on our community and on the social networks.